Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie and I woke up at 4 30. It's time to eat. 1 30, my dad. <laughs> Ellie's from the West Coast, so she's three hours time behind. Time to get a meal. First meal down the hatch. <laughs> Here we go. Bagels, coffee, and what, what else is it? Yeah. Why is it not working? Chill. I can't see. <laughs> All right, we've got our fake coffee going on. Our fake coffee? You didn't, uh, I mean our fake energy. <laughs> Why do you keep talking to me all weird? <laughs> because it's, I'm delirious, it's so early. Me. It's 5, 10 a.m. I cannot talk. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the ATC Elite kit. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. But because, dude, you got to give the viewers what they want, the content that they need. All right, guys, we're rocking some KT tape on the knee. The knee has been a little bit sore, so hopefully it holds up, cross my fingers. But we're going to give, we're going to do a little pre-race back talk right now. All right, Emma, we have some viewers for this one. Usually it's just me alone, so. <laughs> Alright, Emma. Um, this is the longest race you've ever done, ever. So don't be a little wuss and don't give up and get after it. Cool. Alright. Emma feels awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, anything you have to say? I'm nervous. Ellie's nervous and I can tell. I can tell too. It's annoying. <laughs> I'm not really nervous, it's more like anxiety. So Ellie's starting the elite wave. She's <laughs> I didn't know until about one second ago. And um, so she's starting at 650. So she's the first race that goes off. She's gonna be toeing the line with stars like <laughs> um, Sarah Hall and Gwen Jorgensen. So I did travel. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm on my second copy. I need to go get another one. I don't know how I'm gonna get any sort of footage from this race since I don't have my camera on me and I will not be racing with my phone. Oh. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. Good morning. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you to race this? So excited. <laughs> what is this? Kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Pat. What's up? Is this your first 10K ever? Uh, I ran one once and I stopped and cheered for my friends. Okay, well, like your first real nine minutes. Okay, first real 10K ever. How are you feeling about it? Uh. I really like my coach. Um, he's he's just super great, and uh, it was my decision. So I like hate myself a little bit too. So that's don't, how you feel? Yeah, I don't really want to do this, but yeah, it's just six miles. Yeah, it's just a casual six mile run. Just casual six mile run at like 5:15 pace, you know. All right, guys, this is my final goodbye till after the race. See you guys after 6.25. Yolanda, any wise words? Uh, no? Stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> Let people know that you took what place? Seventh in a new PB of. What was your time? Impressive. Shout out to Molly Grable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where to even begin? Well, I just got back from cross country camp. And woo, I am tired and I apologize in advance that this has taken so long for me to post. But life has just been so chaotic ever since the 4th of July. And I'm finally getting down to doing my race recap because I have enough time and I'm not exhausted at night from camp. The AJC Peachtree Road Race. A lot of things happened. 
First of all, an amazing experience. Atlanta Track Club put on such an amazing event. I was basically hanging out with the elites the entire time. My older sister Ellie raced in the elite race, and since I'm part of Atlanta Track Club Elite, I just got to hang around them. They catered to all of the elites so nicely. So since there's 60,000 people that run it, and it's downtown in Buckhead, it is chaotic down there. And the only way to basically get to the start line is either to MARTA, which is our public transportation system, Uber, or the other thing that I did was actually I stayed in Ellie's hotel room because she was out here already, so I just slept in her bed. Thanks, Ellie, shout out. There's no MARTA from the where I live, so I don't even know what I would have done. So I'm just so happy that they let me stay with Ellie to do that because that solved all of my pre-race problems. The race was really early. I think my race went off at 7 a.m. When your camera dies, LMAO. Okay, anyways, to preface this, Peachtree was on July 4th, which I believe was a Wednesday, and on Friday I had done a K workout. And after that K workout, I was cooling down and my knee hurt very badly. It was very stiff, and this has happened to me before. This actually happened from when the transition from Vanderbilt to Oregon, that winter break before I transferred, before I moved to Oregon, that happened to me. And I just kind of shook it off. I was like, okay, Petrie's almost here. It's fine, it's fine. I cooled down. I didn't run Saturday. I decided to cross train that day. Sunday comes around. I'm like, okay, it's only, I had a six mile run, I believe, with some strides. And guys, I couldn't even make it through the run. <laughs> That's how bad my knee was hurting and it was stiff and it worried me a bit, I'm not gonna lie, but the next couple days I cross trained and then I decided to run Peachtree. I was warming up and it was a bit stiff, but I was like, okay, the adrenaline, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah, it wasn't very fine. <laughs> so the race itself was absolutely, it was insane. I've never run anything like it. If you guys are ever even interested in running a 10K, look into running the AJC Peachtree Road Race because it is lit. There are so many people there. It's Unreal the entire streets are just filled the entire time the race itself is really challenging The course is basically three miles downhill then three miles gradually uphill Which is the probably the hardest way that you can run a course I would say for me personally I ran the three miles downhill and I was like, ooh, okay the adrenaline was kicking in I was like, all right feel all right um, I went out a little hard. I think my first mile was like 5.45-ish. I'm not really sure exactly on the splits because people weren't really calling them out and I didn't wear my watch. So I was going out a little bit harder than my fitness level at the time, especially for the humidity and the difficulty level of the course. I think that was a little bit fast for me, but it was pretty much downhill, so the first 5K felt pretty good. And then I started getting towards the halfway mark and my knee was like, ooh, Emma, I'm in pain. And... From probably the 5K on, my knee hurt so bad. It was very frustrating for me because I was really excited to run this race and feel good and do a 10K. It just kind of crumbled from there on out. I I was so happy that I made it to the finish line, honestly. The only thing that I could do was finish and hobble on my knee, which was probably pretty pathetic looking if you were out there, but for the next couple weeks after this, I've been cross training a lot. I've been on and off running and I didn't really run much before camp started and then when I went to camp I was doing like little short runs and somehow it has started to recover a little bit so um, I'm gonna try running again tomorrow and see how it feels but I would say you know my first thoughts after the race was wow that was an experience like anything else and one thing I want to do is run it again next year because I know I can do a lot better than what I did this year especially if I keep my training up and stay healthy so thank you to Atlanta Track Club for putting on an amazing event I know all of the elites felt like they had such a good time and they were really well catered to the entire city of Atlanta knows what the AJC Peach Road Race is and honestly the entire City of Atlanta runs the AJC PGD Road Race, so I highly recommend that you guys think about running it next year, because I'll probably be there, because I need to uh, beat my time of this year. Also, just a huge shout out to Atlanta Track Club for this entire process, and they put on the most amazing running events I've ever seen in my life, and they do a lot of it, so if you're ever interested, if you're in the Atlanta area and becoming a member, um, I'll link it down below, and they have just a ton of good races. You can secure your position in the PGD Road Race, next year because it is a raffle so it's not a guarantee if you're not a member. Overall, I've just had a very positive experience with Atlanta Track Club over the past couple months ever since I moved here and I'm really excited moving forward to see, you know, the races that they put me into and all the things that they put on personally because they 
are an amazing organization and again I have never seen a running organization like it so also I'll put in some clips right now from the youth camp I just went to it was pretty fun I was a camp counselor there as some of you guys know what's up guys we're here <laughs> just kidding I'll do another video on that after this one cuz I have so much footage Shout out to the Groots if any of you guys are watching this. We actually got last place, but that's okay. You know, all in spirit. Here on out is just going to be a bunch of training. So stay tuned for more running vlogs. I know I haven't given you a lot lately. Once I start getting into workouts again, I'm really excited to show you guys what my new training is going to be like and my new training partners. Shout out to you guys for Peachtree Prep. Thanks for sticking through me through this really big transition period of my life. Shout out to Atlanta Track Club for doing the same. And thank you guys for watching another vid. Like, subscribe, the huge. See you soon. Peace out, fellas. Illy.